Okay, just to summarize this 12th module, well, anything that you don't have in your notes that you see here in the summary, it might be worth writing down. First, the probability of an event is a measure of the likelihood that that event occurs. So this, I mean, as long as you have that ma main idea of what a probability is, then you're probably okay. But if you still don't really understand what probability is, that might be worth writing down. Probabilities are always between 0 and 1. If you already know that, you know, you remember that, then you're probably okay. But it might be worth writing down in case you forget later in, in a few weeks or a month. The closer the probability is to 0, the less likely it is to occur. The closer the probability is to 1, the more likely it, the event is to occur. The two ways of determining probabilities are empirical or theoretical. So you should always, that's a very important thing. I'm sure that'll be on the test or in, on, and it's been on a lot of these little quizzes on this um, Canvas course. Empirical methods use data from a series of trials. So you're actually doing some kind of trial or experiment to figure out these numbers. The probability of an outcome is approximated by the relative frequency of that outcome, aka the number of times the outcome occurs divided by the number of trials. On the other hand, theoretical methods do not use any data. Just like when you you know things that you can kind of imagine are equally likely to happen, like flipping a fair coin, heads and tails are equally likely. I don't need to flip it to know that I have a 0.5 probability of getting heads and a 0.5 of getting tails. Or playing cards, you know, there are four queens in a deck of cards and there are 52 cards total, so I can probably calculate the probability of getting a queen or a whatever I want to get without having to actually do any any trials. An empirical probability can be an estimate for a theoretical probability. A probability distribution shows the probability for each possible outcome. The sum of all the probabilities is 1. We can have probability distributions for a categorical variable such as a coin toss or a blood type. And for quantitative variables such as the number of eggs in a boreal owl nest or the first digit in an income tax reporting. If the variable is quantitative, we can describe the distribution using shape, center, and spread. Center be being measured by mean and spread being measured by standard deviation. For a quantitative variable, the mean of the probability distribution is called the expected value. It is a weighted mean where each variable value is weighted based on its probability.